Today I'm going to share uh, how to benefit and use Google Web Fonts. Free service available by Google.com. Now, important step here. Anytime you use a font, as an example, I'm going to select the body tag here. I'm going to select the body tag and set the font for the entire site here. So select the tag. We just want to make the specific for body. So body. Okay. Now, important step here. If you click a font family, the person's going to have to have those fonts on their computer. So if you basically go and just pick a font from your computer, if the person doesn't have that font on their computer, it's not going to render properly. So if we pick, say, this font family, what this is saying here, guys, is if the person doesn't have this font on their computer, default to this font. And if they don't have that font, default, default to a sans serif font. Sans being the French word for without. So I'm going to share with you how we can use Adobe Web Fonts. Therefore, it can be used on anyone's computer. So here's how it works. First of all, we're just going to go to web. And the address for that is www.com forward slash web fonts. Okay. Now here's a whole list of fonts that we can use. There's hundreds of them. Okay. So you can pick a font that you'd like to use. So let's say I want to use this kind of whimsical wacky font here. So the simplest way to do this is we're going to do, it's a two-step process here. We're just going to go to quick use. Now, if you come over here to the right, you can add this to your collection. So if you log into your Google for your Google account here, you can basically have these to use in another day. So in this particular case, I'm just going to go to quick use. Okay. Now, if you scroll down to the bottom here, okay, this tells you the link that you have to put inside your page to get the font to work. So we add this code. There's a couple of features here. We're just going to deal with the standard feature. I can import them or I can use JavaScript. Okay, so standard feature, we're just going to take this code and copy it. Go back to Dreamweaver. Now, inside of Dreamweaver, we have to go to code, and inside code, it goes inside the head tag. Okay, so right here, we're going to turn key inside the header, and we're going to paste, copy, paste, command C, command and control C for Windows paste. Okay, so here's the path to that font. Now, important step here. This is the path to the font, but we haven't defined the font on how it's going to be used. So let's think about this. Let's go back to design mode for a second. And these are H one tags. Both these are H1 tags. I haven't defined a font style for the H1 tag because I don't have a rule for that. Okay, I have a rule for the body tag. Actually, I don't have the rule for the body tag. We didn't create the rule for the body tag. Okay, so let's say body tag. We're going to set a rule for body tag to be our default font. So let's simply make body tag be Tacoma. So now every font is Tacoma, but I want to benefit from the font that I just imported by going to copy and paste. So if this is the font I want to take advantage of. So if we go back to, if we go back to the web for a second, back to Google Fonts, this is the name of the font we need to use. So I'm just going to take this font here Copy. Now, notice how I copy this. I'm just copying from, after the single quote, I'm just copying to where it says cursive. This is a type of font as opposed to a serif or sans serif. This is a cursive type font. This is the name of the font family. We're going to copy that. So inside of Dreamweaver, we're going to make a rule for our header. So select the tag. Select the tag. Select H1 tag and make a rule. Come down here and make a rule. So we're going to make a rule for the H1 tag. Hit OK. Now, important step here. What we copied from Google, 
we need to paste, but we need to make some slight changes here to get this to work properly. I don't want to, I just want this to say, name of the font, comma, cursor. So we're going to kill the single quotation mark right here. We're just going to say, name of the font, comma, cursive. Okay, so therefore it creates the rule to use the font. So again, two-step process here, guys. I first had to put the font inside my link. I link to where that font is going to be accessed from. So this font is going to go from the Google website. Then here I told it to use the font inside an H1 tag. So this is the font family H1 tag. Now, of course, I can set the color and the size, et cetera, et cetera. We're just going to keep this very simple. Now, notice I can't see this because Dreamweaver does not render fonts externally. So what we have to do is either publish this to the server or go to live view. If I go to live view, there's my font. So how cool is that? So now I can stylize the font. Okay, so let's go back and double click. Double click the H1 tag. Let's make this be uh, orange and we're going to make the size 44 pixels. So if I save that, make a change, save a change, get back to live view, there's my font. So this font can now be read on anybody's web, on anybody's computer, because it's serving up to the Google website. So again, let's review two-step process. I went to Web Fonts Google. I copied this link first, and then I put it inside my Dreamweaver HTML page. Then, after that, when I created the rule, I took this information here and I copied it. But I just want to have name of the font, comma, cursive. I don't need the semicolon and everything else that's in here. Now, if you want to write this code totally from scratch without using the Dreamweaver interface, then you can use this as an example over here. So you can just copy and paste this for the H1 tag it's your code. But for novices, that's a little more confusing. I think it's simpler if you just do it the way I shared with you. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to my videos. I have a whole new collection of PHP, my SQL videos, a lot of cool stuff that's coming. I also have a $39 for $39. You can get an A through Z complete e-commerce web development tutorial available online. So talk to you soon. And thanks for your support.